Welcome to the Rochester General Hospital Foundation 2010 Founders Society Gala. Please welcome Mr. Mark Clement, Rochester General Health System President and CEO. Hi, I'm in the new pediatric emergency department under construction and slated to be completed uh, and opened in November of this year. This is an exciting time for Rochester General Health System. It's a time where we are making unprecedented investments in developing our clinical capabilities and our infrastructure to better support and better serve our community. All of these plans and all of these investments will allow Rochester General Health System to better serve our community because they will provide our nurses, our doctors, and other team members with the facilities, the technology that are so important in delivering the exceptional quality, unparalleled service, and convenient access that our community expects and deserves. I look forward to continuing to collaborate with other health systems throughout the region to again be a national leader in healthcare delivery as we were in the early 90s, leading the way for other communities and other health systems. Tonight marks both a celebration of philanthropy and a rallying point to take on the challenges that lie ahead. We are coming to the end of another successful year at Rochester General Health System with feelings of tremendous pride and responsibility. We are proud of the success we have had in areas such as the B. Thomas Golisano Pavilion and Emergency Center, where our team has literally altered the state of emergency care in Rochester and throughout the region. Our health system serves a community with a rich history, one of hard work, innovation, altruism, and social responsibility. The needs of our community and the landscape of healthcare are truly evolving, but our dedication to providing compassionate, innovative, and critical health care remains the same. It is frankly the reason we are all here tonight. The generosity, passion, and leadership of all of you, our guests, our honorees, and those friends who could not be here tonight are the reason why we can continue forward to make sure that our community and our region has access to the health care that it deserves. Tonight's honorees, Don, Tim, Ralph, Ginny, and Valerie, thank you for your many years of steadfast, passionate support. To all of our friends here tonight, in body or spirit, these five individuals represent what all of us stand for together. As I thank each of them, I thank all of you. Tonight, we are pleased to honor five dedicated, generous, and caring people whose gifts and hard work significantly further Rochester General's ability to provide the best possible health care and improve the lives of those in our community. We are pleased to present our first award, the Agnes Bartlett Curtis Philanthropy Award to Don DeFries. Don's extraordinary commitment to RGH exemplifies the true meaning of philanthropy, the love of mankind. Don is a veritable force of nature. His positive and adaptive approach makes work fun and exciting. His infectious whatever-it-takes attitude is emulated by thousands. His ability to provide logistics, facilities, volunteer support and donors has transformed adequate efforts into extraordinary ones. I have watched Don under five presidents, myself included, become the go-to in Yes We Can guy. His responsibilities at General have changed over the years, but he always brings that characteristic calmness um, uh, and an in-control attitude to everything he does. What's most remarkable to me about Don are his personal characteristics. He's kind of like your favorite uncle who only sees the good side of you, or your football coach who won't let you ever do less than your best, or the Chicago backroom politician who really knows his way around everywhere. And also your parish priest who continues to remind you that there are higher goals and morals and characteristics that you want to aspire to. I've said that Don is equally comfortable and adept in the boardroom, the boiler room, and the back room. Don really has the respect of his staff and employees because of his yes we can attitude and the personal characteristic that lets those staff always feel his support. They've seen him roll up his sleeves and do their jobs shoulder to shoulder with him. 
They've seen him cry at their losses, and they've seen him support them. Don, like Agnes, embodied the spirit of just do it long before it was a popular business slogan. Don, I want to thank you. On behalf of Rochester General Hospital, its patients and staff, for all of your incredible contributions in making our institution the hospital that our community has come to rely upon and trust. This year's John Whitbeck MD Philanthropy Award is being presented to two members of the medical staff, Dr. Ralph Panino and Dr. Timothy O'Connor, for their dedication and professional commitment to philanthropic efforts. Dr. Timothy O'Connor and Dr. Ralph Panino founded Interval, a community-based nonprofit organization dedicated to bringing medical supplies, equipment, and caregivers to people in need domestically and abroad. Dr. Ralph Panino has exemplified focus and dedication to Interval, serving as a lightning rod for community support and working as hard as ever to write the next chapter of this humanitarian success story. A philanthropist and humanitarian and president of Interval, Ralph inspires people to be their best. I met Dr. Panino about 25 years ago as a nurse in ambulatory surgery at Rochester General Hospital. Dr. Panino is a, a physician that is very invested in his patients. And so from the time that a person becomes a patient of his until the time that they're discharged, he is very much involved in their care and he's very, a very, very uh, passionate and empathetic with his patients. Well, I truly do believe one thing that, that is very characteristic of Dr. Panino is he always attracts people into his fold that are like-minded. So in order for him to be as successful as he is with all the different balls that he holds up in the air, he has to surround himself with people that are very competent, passionate, and willing to do the things that you have to do to go to that extra mile. His, his passion is very infectious, and so therefore it just it, it, it drives people to want to be a part of that because it's everything that he does, he does it very well and it's always very successful. Well, globally, I think probably what sticks out in people's minds the most is January 12th, 2010, there was that major earthquake in Haiti. And subsequently from all the work that he did there and continues to do because we're still involved in Haiti on a day-to-day -day basis, over there was over 20,000 patient encounters, over 600 surgeries, and over 200 plus deliveries. Dr. Panino, on behalf of all the staff at the Rochester General Health System, all the volunteers, all the patients, all the people that I can think of that you've impacted their lives, we really would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your compassion, for your passion, for your vision, and from me to you and from all the people that have been a part of your life and continue to be a part of your life, we salute you. Dr. Timothy O'Connor's generosity, commitment, and passion have created a tremendous impact on our community, extending Interval's reach to people in dire need around the world. As Vice President and Treasurer of Interval, Tim has also delivered much of Interval's care on the front lines. I've known Tim for a lot of years, and it seems like every time I spend time with Tim, he's doing something for somebody, whether it's a fundraiser or helping people, just about everything he does with his life is meant to give back. I was thinking about talking about the many sides of Tim. And then I got to thinking, there really are no sides to Tim. He's a really well-rounded guy. He's usually around a table, and he's usually around a lot of round bottles of wine. He's well-rounded. The committee also came to me and they said, we would like to have some kind of award to give to Tim. And I thought, award? You know what Tim could really use? Get him a watch and then get him instructions that he doesn't have to read, like something he can play on the car or something that he doesn't have to read, but get him a watch. Tim, this is the John Whitbeck Award. It's an incredible award and has deep meaning and it's a way for people to say thanks to you for all the work you've done. Tim, what you need to understand, and I think you do, when you're affecting a life, when you're operating on a life, when you're making such a positive difference in somebody's life, not only do you make that difference in their life, 
but you make that difference in their children's life, in their children's children's life. You affect generations with your work and what you're doing with Interval. Tim, congratulations on this award. I speak for everybody here in saying thank you very much for all the work that you do to make this world a better place and to all of the people that help you do that. Tim, you are my hero. This year's recipient of the B. Thomas Galasano Honorary Award is Ginny Clark. Ginny gives her time and expertise to multiple business and community-based organizations. Her tireless efforts and relentless commitment to mobilizing the resources of Constellation Brands has made her an exceptional asset to Rochester General and a model for what a local business and community leader should aspire to be. Well, you know, I've known Ginny for a, a long time. She's had a long history with uh, uh, all of our uh, people here and our executives um, and has really been uh, an integral part of Constellation for um, as many years, frankly, as I can remember. Uh, you know, Ginny, as, as an individual, is an absolutely amazing person. I mean, there is nobody that I know that has the energy and the passion uh, for what they do that, that she does. And, you know, I can tell you that Ginny is a, is a person that can literally um, work from 6 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the morning, day after day after day, seven days a week. Um, she would not be somebody that uh, most of us would want to follow around because it would probably kill us. Partnering uh, with Ralph Panino and Interval and RGH to uh, directly bring supplies uh, down to Haiti and to help the uh, unfortunate people who suffered the disaster down there um, was something that we as a company uh, were, were very proud of. She would go down to Haiti, I think, every, every three weeks to uh, work with the people and help the people down there uh, if she could. And, and I think that that's really uh, a testament to the kind of person that she is. With her trademark passion and energy, Ginny also simultaneously spearheaded the building of two key community development projects, the Constellation Marvin Sands Performing Arts Center and the New York Wine and Culinary Center. I want to personally say thank you to Ginny Clark because she is somebody that has made a big difference uh, in our community. She is somebody who has worked tirelessly to support organizations like Rochester General Hospital, like Interval. So this is a great opportunity for me to personally say thank you, Ginny, for everything that you've done to help support uh, the things that we at Constellation uh, think are important and you are really a key uh, individual in, in making those things happen for us. So again, thank you. Our last award is presented to Valerie Policini Wilcox, recipient of the Mary L. Keith Award for Nursing Philanthropy. Valerie's professional dedication and philanthropic efforts have brought esteem to the nursing profession and furthered the mission of Rochester General. Valerie could have been your accountant, but a part-time job in a nursing home after high school transformed her curiosity about nursing into a lifelong passion for caring for others. The bond between Valerie's family and RGH has been undeniable and enduring. Valerie graduated from RGH's Isabella Graham Hart School of Nursing and spent the most enjoyable years of her nursing career at RGH. RGH is also where her family celebrated the memory of her father with the dedication of the Eugene Policini Pavilion and culminating with the gift that launched our nationally recognized robotic surgery program, casting an indelible mark on health care in Rochester. Val was always the sweetest little girl. She, she's always been like a caregiver. She was always very, very up, always generally having a smile on her face and always knew she wanted to be a nurse. Val had that natural instinct of being a caregiver. She thoroughly loved the hospital. Our history is here. I mean, all my babies were born here. We always had a great, great respect for the hospital, and she loved it, working here. 
She, I, she had an experience on just about every floor. Valerie has supported her community hospital through the nursing advisory panel, as a community advocate, and through her family's charitable foundation. As a board member of the Policini Foundation, she serves beside her mother and two brothers, helping organizations address community needs in areas of human services, education, and civic improvement. We've been really very blessed, and we sh want to give back to those that are less fortunate or those that don't have the, the means or the opportunities. Honey, nobody could be prouder of you than I am today. This award is phenomenal, you deserve it. But every day of your life, I have been extremely proud to be your mother. And I thank God that God gave me the chance to be your mom. Don DeFries, Dr. Ralph Panino, Dr. Timothy O'Connor, Ginny Clark, and Valerie Wilcox. We admire and thank you for all that you have given to Rochester General Hospital. We are grateful to have you as our partners in providing the best medical care and services to the Rochester community.